everyone welcome to topic of the day in this edition we shall be discussing about human cell atlas now recently scientists mapped out more than a million cells across 33 organs in the human body which can provide unparalleled insights into health and diseases so if we talk about this research the researchers looked at a single immune cell from diseased individuals to understand the function of immune cells in different tissues now in this fetal tissues were also studied and it was observed in multiple tissues from human donors the researchers hence named it the tabula sapiens cell atlas now what is human cell atlas well it is a global initiative that was found in the year 2016 that charts the cell types in a healthy body across time from development to adulthood and eventually to old age human cell atlas researchers are creating a unique id card for each cell type by using cutting edge single cell spatial genomics and computational techniques if we talk about the significance of human cell atlas it will facilitate the development of better drugs and more accurate predictions of unintended toxicity secondly it will also aid regenerative medicine and thirdly it will help researchers to answer key questions in diverse biological fields now if we talk about some of the indian initiatives there is project manav under the department of biotechnology now in this project the human atlas initiative aims at creating a database network of all tissues in the human body from the available scientific literature there is also another project which is called the indigen project which is an initiative of the council of scientific and industrial research csir this project is about undertaking whole genome sequencing of thousands of individuals representing diverse ethnic groups from india now let us discuss in brief about what is a human cell firstly the cell is the smallest unit that can live on its own and that makes up all living organisms and the tissues of the body the human body has more than 30 trillion cells now a cell has three main parts first is the cell membrane it surrounds the cell and controls the substances that go into and out of the cell then there is nucleus it is a structure inside the cell that contains the nucleolus and most of the cells dna it is also where most of the rna is made then we have the third that is the cytoplasm cytoplasm is the fluid inside the cell it contains other tiny cell parts that have specific functions including the golgi complex or the golgi body the mitochondria and the endoplasmic reticulum now let us take up a practice question on this topic you can visit the question on your screen which shows three pairs and you have to tell which of them are correctly matched you can write your answers in the comment section below the correct answer is d that is all the three are correctly matched the first one cell membrane surrounds the cell and controls the substances second is nucleus that contains the nucleolus and third is the cytoplasm that contains the fluid inside the cell so the correct answer is option d well that's a wrap of today's edition of topic of the day this is kritika signing off i'll see you with more such videos till then take care and do stay tuned